All right, so for mine, I get my scale here, grab an empty bowl, and you gotta zero the scale out so it thinks there's nothing here even when there's a bowl on it. You start off by putting 40 grams of flour into mine. So let's measure that out real quick. Thirty-seven. Thirty-nine. Thirty-nine. Put the lid on that. Just sprinkle that in there. And then set the bowl back down, goes to zero. And I measure out about 36 grams of water. 37 is fine, but 40 is not. So let's do a tiny bit of this. 36 is perfect. Just dump that in there. And I'm done with this. And then I get my spatula. Nice and silicone-y. So it's easy to clean. And then just gently stir this in until I don't see any more dry flour. see any more. And I scrape the sides of my jar because you don't want to leave a ton on the sides to dry out. You want to keep the sides as clean as you can. And then obviously before all this you want to wash your hands that way when you Wipe this off, your hands are nice and clean. And my lid is um, wax fabric, so I've already shaped it to the top of my jar. So it isn't airtight, but it is protecting it from like bugs and stuff. Nice glass jar. So you can easily like move it around because you don't want it to explode because it builds up pressure if you leave it in like an airtight, you know, screwed on lid. And then for mine, Get me my, put a nice towel on it, move my flour out of the way, move these over, because you're supposed to keep it, there you go, away from the sun, so I just put a rag over it essentially and then put it in a corner. And there you go. I just feed it every 24 hours when I get home from work.